Hello and welcome. So in today's video, we're going to take a look at how we can take this inventor assembly and import into Fusion 360. Now, there's a couple of things we have to do just to be um, aware of as we take it in. Um, and I will be showing that on, on our journey today on taking this from Inventor into Fusion 360. So one of the things that Fusion likes to look at is everything must be in one folder. So what I'm going to do is do a pack and go. And what this will do is just uh, take all the components, um, the sub-assemblies, the parts, any linked files of this door assembly and stick it into one folder. So to get to the pack and go, right click on the door assembly and go to pack and go. Uh, one thing we need to make sure is that the project file referenced, find reference files project file is the sheet metal or the, the door assembly um, project file we're in there. Another thing and or another option to take is copy to single path and let's include linked files as well. Then we can skip libraries, skip styles and skip templates. I just need the files for that door assembly. Once I've done that, just make sure that it's pointed to the correct destination folder and we can click on search now. It does a quick search and it's found 95 files. Okay, now what we do is need to press start to actually copy all those files into the correct folder, which is that folder in the, the all pass desktop all path. Okay, so once that is done, uh, let's go back to our desktop and go to that all parts over there. Now you'll see in the all parts, we've got all our different files over here, um, the inventor assembly and sub assembly assemblies and your parts. Let's open our Fusion 360 now. So in Fusion 360, how do we get our design into Fusion 360? So let's go to file and open. Now what it points to is all the, the project folders that we have got in our Fusion 360 library over here. And, but my, our files are sitting on the computer. So at the bottom left, we click on open for my computer. And we go to where our desktop all parts folder is. Let's go down to that door assembly and select that. And what this does is the first file that you select, uh, Fusion 360 recognizes at, as, the, as the, the main assembly file. Okay. Once that is open, Fusion 360 will recognize that it's an assembly and that with an assembly, you need to have additional sub-assemblies and parts. So it asks there, please select the required reference parts and sub-assemblies. So I'm going to go click on select files and go and select all the other components to make up this assembly. And I'm just going to deselect things like pack and go, which I don't need, my old IPJ and my IPJ as well. Once that's done, click on open and it references all the files that it's going to convert and bring into my Fusion 360. Then under location, it tells you which uh, project folder it's going to import it into. And once that's done, click on upload. Once we've done that, the job status dialog box will pop up. And this job status dialog box will give us a progress report on, on how far it's completed uploading. And you see with the bitmaps, it does it quite quickly. And then under your door.im, it'll take a little bit longer. If I click on my show data panel, you'll notice over here that it's starting to populate all the components that it's successfully uploaded. And then under door over there, you'll see a little, little green circle um, rolling as the status bar increases. Now that the upload is complete, we can go back into Fusion 360 and open up that door. So let's uh, double click on it and open up into the window over here. Okay, so we have successfully uploaded this assembly into the into Fusion 360. I'm just gonna swing it around over here. And I'm just gonna go and make this view front. Okay, there we go. Okay, so it's coming pretty, pretty good. Take a look at uh, what we've got over here. Let's take a look at the back. I think it was some wiring that we had. Okay, now I didn't import the wiring. But, yes, there we go. So, pretty good on my side. I'm happy with that, that import. 
Okay, so now what I want to do is I want to unfold some of these components over here. So there's a little bit of a trick to this as well. Um, you'll notice at the top of here you you do not have a sheet metal tab. Um, to if you didn't know about the sheet metal tab, whenever we create a new design, you'll notice that there's a sheet metal tab available to us over this. So with this imported assembly, um, it, it isn't there. And even if we had to import a, a, a part, it wouldn't be there as well. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to close this. Yes, I'm going to save changes. And in this new part of the year, I'm going to go and drag and drop this door um, into the components. I'm going to save this as well. So I'm going to say sheet metal test. And let's go and drag and drop the door in now. So once this door is in, you'll notice there I've got my sheet metal tab. We've now successfully imported this or successfully linked. As you can see, there's a little link over there. Um, the door assembly into this part over here. Now, if I go to my sheet metal part over here, um, I've got a convert to sheet metal uh, button. So if I select convert to sheet metal, it says convert to sheet metal, the source. Okay, I can't select anything. So let's go and open this up explicitly. So first of all, I just want to go to my select button, just select priority. You don't see it's just off screen, so select bodies. Okay, and yeah, just uh, taking a little bit of a while to think. Okay, so we've got that. You see there's a little highlights under that door weldment. So it tells me that the part is in the door weldment assembly. Open that up and there's my door weldment right. So now I want to select this, but you know it won't let me. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to break this link. Okay, so break link. And let's see what's different over here. So I'm going to select this part over here again. Oh, yeah, just let's move that. So select that part, and it's under my door weldment. And where is this now? Door weldment, right? Okay, cool. So let's go and create, convert to sheet metal. Okay, so still won't let me select it. So let's go and activate that door weldment, right? And then let's go to create, convert to sheet metal. And uh, it doesn't want to let me do it. There we go. Come on. Ah, there we go. Okay, so fantastic. So we've got that. Now, what it's done is that you can actually see it's taken thickness equals 1.588 millimeters. So what they've written into Fusion 360 is that if I select a, a surface on a, on, a, on a part that I want to create the sheet metal, it actually measures the distance uh, from that face to the next face. So what you want to actually do over here is is select one of you know the bigger flatter faces don't select the you know where the, where the arc is or the, um the, the bend is um you're not going to get the correct result so there we go we can now take a look in our library um you know sort of a, a sheet metal rule okay and i'm going to say and hey, look it does say in steel thickness is 2.5 but you know it's, it just says note your thickness will be changed to 1.588 millimeters so at the moment what i'm doing is i'm just choosing the um the, the material Select OK, and there we go. So now what I can do is I can say create flat pattern, select my stationary face, click on OK, and there we go. I've got my flat pattern over there. And this we can then go and take downstream and create a, um, a CNC or some G code for cutting out that profile over there. So basically the, the workflow for getting a, a component. And it can be a, a SOLIDWORKS file, it can be an STL file, a STEP file, as long as it's got that uniform thickness sort of throughout where it can actually unfold it, is bring the part into Fusion 360, um, open up a new part, drag the part in, break the link, and then activate the component if it is an assembly um, that you want to unfold, and then go to your um, create create, uh, well, sorry, convert to sheet metal. And that's it. Thank you very much for watching.